Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Van Sedane Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2013 on a 13 plate. It's a Volkswagen Transporter, 2 litre TDI shuttle. Uh, it is in the L2 long wheelbase uh, format uh, with a tailgate SE specification. Uh, we've just fitted a set of uh, Volkswagen latest Volkswagen T6 Aller wheels to it as well, just to enhance the looks of it. Uh, it is, I'll double check, one or two keepers from new. Uh, I'll confirm it exactly in the advert. Uh, we know it has been out on lease to the UK Border Force. Um, in overall good condition, to be fair, it has covered just short of 84,000 miles. Uh, we will do a full service, including a cam belt kit on it before it goes out the door for you as well. Uh, good colour combination inside. It's in nice condition. It's not been abused. Um, so let's just give you an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. It's so looking up there on the roof. Obviously, it's a shuttle. There might be the odd minor sort of mark, but I don't think there's anything major up there. Coming down onto your windscreen. There you go. You've probably got a better view of it than I have. Coming down onto your windscreen. The windscreen's in good condition with no major stone chips that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Down onto the bonnet. Bonnet is in overall very good condition. You will always, obviously, because of the age of the vehicle and the miles that it's done, there will always be the odd stone chip on the on the bonnet, but there is nothing major. You know, I'm talking about, you know, really minor stuff. We will go around it with a Volkswagen touch-up stick before it goes out the door and just get any stone chips sorted out on it for you, okay? Your front grille, that's all in good condition, as is the front bumper. Now this vehicle does have front and rear parking sensors fitted to it, which is a really nice option on something like uh, of this size. Uh, passenger headlight unit's all good. Front passenger bumper corner, as you can see, that's in good condition with no scuffing. Uh, you know, there's elements of the vehicle, uh, you know, just the age that it is, and um, you know, it, it has elements of stone chips, I guess, on the front bumper. It, you know, there's nothing there that is you wouldn't expect to see there basically but there are minor stone chips uh, and marks on the front bumper uh, driver's side front bumper corner that's all in good condition as well as is your driver's side headlamp unit now if i get down low creaky old knees uh, look down the side of the van uh, in actual fact this is the driver's side as i look down it's driver's side wing door sliding door etc a couple of really minor little dings on the sliding door that i can see uh, nothing major, they are there, they haven't broken the paint. Uh, I'll point them out to you as we go along. Uh, this is just a little bit of polish, you'll have to excuse us, so that, that'll all just polish off. Uh, as I say, alloy wheels. They are a set of used alloy Volkswagen T6 alloy wheels that we had sat in the showroom, so we have bunged them on this vehicle. Uh, we will get this tyre replaced on it for you, okay, so it'll have a fresh tyre on there. Um, so don't worry about that, it'll have a new tyre on it. Uh, and there's a little bit of curbing on the alloy wheel. The mirror unit, really minor marks on the edge of the mirror unit there, but the mirror unit itself is nice and secure, as are the mirror glasses. Those are in good condition as well. Your driver's side door glass, that's in good order. Driver's side door, it does have a little minor scratch on it. It is here. Again, we'll order up a Volkswagen touch-up stick and see if we can get that looking. We'll build up the paint and the lacquer and see if we can get that looking a lot better. Difficult one, really. I didn't see the point in kind of body shopping it and getting that whole door. You'd have to paint the wing and the door, blend it into the sliding door for the sake of that, if I'm honest with you. But, you know, that's my own personal choice. Um, door itself. Uh, OK, we've got water drips on it at the moment. There are minor marks. You know, you get minor wear and tear marks. Again, it's all kind of touch up stick sort of stuff. Nothing major, um, but there are there are bits and pieces on there, shall we say. Door handle, behind the door handle, fairly clean and tidy, minimal scratching, door locks in good condition. Your door edges, if we look down your door edges, those are all good. Door edges all line up nicely. Sliding door, this is obviously the door where I said there was a couple of minor dings in it. There you go, face on. They're not stand out at all, are they? I'm really going to have to kind of try and find them to point them out to you, but we've got kind of one there. Just a couple around the area. Can you just about see them in the light? Yeah, I don't know. We can get the dent man on him, see if he can do anything. He may not be able to do anything though, so, you know. Uh, there are a couple of little bits and pieces that just need a little bit of touching as well. 
Again, nothing major, but they are there. Minor, minor, very light scratching, um, but nothing major. Sliding door, non-opening window, as you can see, uh, factory tint on it. They do have sun blinds on the inside of them. Rear quarter, driver's side, again, tinted window with sun blinds on the inside. It is a twin side loading door model, this one, as you can see. The driver's side rear quarter, that's in good condition. Uh, driver's side alloy wheel, again, another one of the used wheels, a couple of minor marks on it, but nothing major. That does have a Goodyear tyre fitted to it. And tyre tread depth on that is like that. With reference to tyres, anything less than three millimetres we replace when it goes through our workshops, okay? Uh, legal limit being 1.6 millimetres and a new tyre having in the region of seven to 10 millimetres on it. So that's our viewpoint on tyres. Tyres aren't a major drama. If they need doing, we'll get them sorted. Looking down driver's side, just from this angle. Now overall, nice, clean, tidy car. As I say, a few age related marks, but nothing major. Driver's side rear bumper corner, that's in good condition. Driver's side rear light unit, that's in good order as well. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, with your rear reflector in the bumper there, that's all good. And the rear bumper itself is in, isn't in bad condition either. Rear reflector there, reverse parking sensors, you can see we've got a couple of little minor marks here. Um, this is polish, yeah. Quite sure why it hasn't been wiped off properly, but there's a bit of polish there. We've got a little bit of a ding there in the tailgate. Um, a couple of minor marks, but again, nothing major. And that is the desirable tailgate as well, isn't it? Everybody likes a tailgate. So heated, um, tinted uh, rear window with wash wipe. And opens up nicely. Now looking inside the vehicle, your inside of your tailgate also gives you a, a good idea of how the vehicle has been used. And look at that, it's like brand new, isn't it? So there's nothing been flying around in the back there. And again, with a shuttle, have a look at the inside. So the inside is in lovely condition. Headlining, nice condition. And again, your side trims, plastics, all in really nice, unbattered condition. Same with the back of the seat, look at that. There's no rips or tears, no damage to the back of the seats. No damage to any of the metal work on the lower part of the seat. It has black carpet and in actual fact, now looking at the video, the carpet looks dirtier in the video than it does in real life. Um, it doesn't, it looks like black in real life, but there we go. That's the iPhone video camera. It actually enhances stuff. Um, look at your plastic entry trim. That is not abused and scratched and broken and whatnot. Still got your tie down points. Those are quite handy. Get yourself a parcel net. It just helps stuff flying around in the back there. There's your window, sun blinds. Now this rear seat is a massive, it's a big seat. You need two of you to remove it, but if you did remove it, it would give you a huge amount of space inside. So it would give you a five seat vehicle with a huge amount of space. Passenger side. Light unit, that's all in good order. Passenger side, rear bumper corner. I've just shown you the couple of minor marks down the bottom. And then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle, um, really good condition to be fair. Nothing really major to point out to you. Upper rear quarter, obviously tinted factory glass with the sun blinds again, lower rear quarter, all pretty good. Uh, again, alloy wheel this side, a couple of minor marks, but nothing too major. Uh, that tyre has that sort of tyre tread depth on it at the moment. We've discussed tyre tread depth, haven't we? Looking down low, looking at your sills. Your sills are in good condition. Sliding door. Again, that's in good order. Non-opening side window. And then your passenger front door. Again, that's in nice condition. As is your door glass. Your handles behind your handles are in good order. Door edges again, let's just show you the door edges. A couple of minor marks, but nothing major. All sort of minor touching stuff. Same with your sliding door. Mirror unit this side. Mirror's in good order. The unit itself in nice condition as well. And then passenger side front wing, that's in good order. Alloy wheel this side, a few minor marks again, but nothing major. 
and a uh, tyre on this side. Uh, there's plenty of tyre tread depth on there. And then bumper corner this side, that's all good. So we open up the inside. The sliding door opens nicely. Now you've got the single seat option in the front, so this makes it an eight seat vehicle. Uh, single seat is the more comfortable of the two seat options that you've got in the front there. But just have a look at the back of the seats. So everything is in really nice tidy order headlining so you've got your rear air conditioning which is operated from up here again another option rear seats in the back there clean and tidy no marks and then your rear seats from this angle again very clean and tidy just look at your metal work underneath the seats look at your carpet Overall, it's in very, very good condition for its age. Door cards this side, again, very clean and tidy. And then entry sills this side, no major wear or tear on those. Carpet in the front, I would suggest a set of Volkswagen rubber mats to go into it. We can supply you with seat covers and rubber mats should you wish. Dashboard fascia is in good condition as well. And then passenger front seat, as you can see, that's all in good order. Again, looks slightly dirtier in the video than it does in real life. So they have been cleaned once. We can, also, we can always give them a quick once over again. That's not a major drama. You can turn off your passenger airbag as well, should you wish, if you're putting a child seat in the front. And then your door pocket this side. We've got a screwed up paper mat in there. Sorry, that will be removed but your door card itself, as you can see, clean and tidy. There's your electric windows and electric heated mirrors. Manual lights, it's obviously had a couple of few options on it. As I say, it came from the border force. So there's a couple of drill holes in the dashboard here, I'm afraid they have been plugged. These two being plugged, this one hasn't. A dashboard illumination and headlamp levelers are here. And then you've got manual lights, side lights, main lights out for your rear fog lights. Uh, vents are all working and fine. You've got additional vents here because it's a shuttle and because it's a shuttle you've got the nice nicer trim here than you would do in the normal panel van. And your pedal rubbers as you can see those are in good condition. Carpet in the front's in nice condition. Driver's seat as you can see the seat base etc all in clean tidy condition. Uh, let's move my camera over to there. Your steering wheel. The steering wheel has still has the factory texture to it that's in in nice condition 83,978 miles unfortunately it does have a little crack in the binnacle I don't know whether you can see that but there is a little crack in the plastic binnacle there that's a bit unfortunate there's not really anything we can do about that so it's a five-speed manual gearbox it's got the normal wear on the gear stick um, but uh, yeah it's just a new little badge there really uh, air conditioning, as you can see, uh, that all covers your rear as well. And then we have obviously your stereo head unit. I would personally suggest we can supply or we can change that unit to an Apple CarPlay unit. Uh, we can even link up a reverse camera to it if you wanted to, but a nice Apple CarPlay unit or Mirror Link or Android Auto, um, you know, we can supply one of those, it, you remove the whole of that and uh, it would give you a nice, really nice unit. Top of the dashboard, as you can see, that's nice and clean and tidy. Cup holders. Uh, so one of them is broken on this side. The other one is working on this side. And then we have stored. Oh dear, look, Valet has missed that. So yeah, we'll get that cleaned for you. And then just in between the seats, hopefully you can see clean and tidy. You know, overall, it's a really clean and tidy van. Um, ideal family wagon, uh, depending on what you want to do to it. Uh, these sun blinds is what I was banging on about on your windows. So you pull these up and you can hook them oh, into there like that. Just gives you a sun blind, built-in factory sun blind in the back. And there we go. So uh, as I say, it's a one keeper from new, 84,000 mile vehicle. We will get the cam belt done on it before it goes out. We'll get a full service done on it before it goes out. 110 point PDI check, an electronic health check. Um, I think there's a couple of tyres probably that need sorting out on it, but overall I would say it's in great condition. There's 60 to 70 photos on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester based in the centre of the country. 
offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Uh, feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Um, if you're worried about your buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on our website. We're on Google, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, all the normal. Nothing to hide here. It's a family business, my business, spades a spade. And there we go. Thanks very much.